Hello, today I am going to discuss about MCR or Master Control Reset Instructions in Ellen Bradley PLC Letter Logic Programming. Okay, first thing first, what is MCR? MCR or Master Control Reset is a kind of instructions that can control the non-retentive outputs. So, what do I mean by non-retentive outputs? Okay, non-retentive outputs meaning the outputs that do not hold the last value. Okay, while well, the retentive output mean the output that hold the last value. Okay, for example, for non-retentive output that do not hold the last value, for example, is a virtual output coil like in this one. Alright, and another example is an on delay timer, off delay timer, etc. Okay, you can see the timer, whether on delay timer, off delay timer, the accumulator value will increase when it is energized. However, when it is de-energized, the timer accumulated value will automatically reset to zero. Why? Because it cannot hold the last value. Therefore, this output is considered non-retentive output. As for the retentive output, the output that holds the last value, for example, this latching, unla latching, unlatching virtual coil. Okay, so the L is latching. U is unlatching. So it means when this virtual latching output coil is energized, it will latch the value. Latch means it will hold the value, hold the on state. Let's say this has been energized and it will continue to remain energized. Right? Because it's a there is an L here, it will be it will latch, it will continue to hold. Another example of retentive output is a counter. Then the other one is retentive on delay timer. Remember the keyword retentive on delay timer. It's not on delay timer, but retentive on delay timer. So retentive on delay timer in my previous video, I talk about this is the on delay timer, which is able to hold the accumulated value in the last state. Okay, let's say this retentive on delay timer accumulated value is 200. So once it de energized, this accumulated value will remain 200. If you compare to the normal on delay timer or off delay timer, where the accumulated value will be reset to zero once the timer are de energized. All right, so there are three retentive outputs. The first one is the latch and latch virtual output coil. The second one is the counter, up counter or down counter. Okay. The third one is the retentive on delay timer. All right. So, okay. So let me create a new file. Okay. Maybe here. I will create a few rounds and insert the necessary instruction. Okay, maybe this one. Program control. So you click the program control tab and then you select MCR, master control reset. Then you drag to here. Okay. Okay, so as for this one, maybe I will put the virtual output coil. Okay, then I put here and maybe I put the timer on delay timer here. Okay, then I put
Okay, maybe I put a latching here and then and latching virtual upper coil here. Okay, then this one I will put this one here. Okay, so I'll sign the address. So I will use a binary address. So binary B3 column with zero slash B0. Okay, then I copy the address. So this I will change to big one. This I change to bit 2 and this I will change to bit 3. This I will change to bit 4. This I will change to bit 5. And then this I will use the digital output column slot 0 slash bit 0. Okay, and sorry, I will copy the address here. This I will change to bit one, then copy the address to here. Okay, the latch and unlatch virtual output coin should use the same address. All right, so copy the address here and I change the bit. All right, so this timer should give the address. Okay, I'll assign the address timer address start from T4. So T4 column. Okay, then you can use any number, start from 0 or 1 or 2, etc. So I use 0. Okay, so preset value, maybe I set 10. Okay, so I will compile the file to make sure there's no error. Then I click here, click download, then you can save it into your computer hard disk to whatever folder or directory that you want just give a name if you want if you don't want that is okay so i will name it master control reset okay then i click here then i will click run okay so what happened is if I toggle bit for this switch, this switch will be triggered from normally open to close. And then the virtual power can flow through this virtual rung to energize this MCR or master control reset instructions. And this master control reset um, MCR or master control reset will have the control below this rung okay so this control is from this rung until this rung you can see that okay mcr is located at this rung and then another mcr is located at this rung so the control area by the mcr is from this rung all the way to this rung only okay after this rung it will have no effect because it's outside the fence zone or control area all right so once i energize this mcr instructions all this run within this fence zone or control zone will be affected okay it will activate the following runs outputs okay once this mcr is the energized what happened is it's just like an emergency switch okay once it is de-energized all the non-retentive output in this area will be de-energized in other words it has only it, it will only affect the non-retentive output 
such as this one and this one but it has no effect on the retentive output such as this one latch and unlatch virtual output coil or counter or retentive on delay timer okay so let me show you what will happen now if i trigger this to close it has no effect do you know why because the master control relay or master control reset instruction is not energized yet as i mentioned earlier it just act like an emergency switch right so what happened is you you need to energize the mcr how about this one okay as for this one if you trigger it to close it will turn on the output in other words it will energize the virtual coin output for this one why because this rung is outside the fence zone meaning the control area by its mcr okay now let me toggle b see what will happen okay so virtual power is able to energize this mcr so it will turn on it will activate all the runs inside this control zone okay from here all the way to here all right so what happened now if i toggle bit this one then you're able to turn on this one and then if i toggle bit at this virtual switch then it start to the accumulated value will start to increase for this timer all right if i toggle bit this one it will start to latch on if i toggle bit again to open the virtual switch it remain latch why because latch unlatch virtual output coil is used to latch the circuit unlatch means you will unlatch the circuit mean turn off turn off the output okay latch once it's energized it will continue to latch mean continue to hold the up energized output if unlatch is energized it will unlatch or turn off the virtual output coin energization i hope you understand i have a pre video talk about latch and unlatch virtual output coin you can refer to my video for information okay if i toggle bit this it will unlatch this okay let me toggle bit again okay it will remain unlatched okay see if i the energized mcr all the non-retentive outputs such as this one and the timer will be the energized however it will have not effect on the retentive output such as this one latch unlatch virtual output coil let's see okay now what happened there it will turn off this non-retentive output coil or output okay but it will not be able to de-energize the retentive output okay as <clears throat> see what will happen it turn on again okay for this one it will have not effect whether is this energized or de-energized because it is located outside the control zone by mcr okay so that's it thanks